Welcome to the introduction of variant detection using HiFi sequencing. By the end of this presentation, you will know how this application works and how you can apply it to your research. There are many types of variants in the genome, ranging from single nucleotide variants, deletions, insertions, tandem duplications, interspersed duplications, inversions, translocations, and copy number variants. These are all very important because that's what makes us different from one another and what contributes to both health and disease. Even though single nucleotide variants are by far the most common variation, due to their size, they still only make up about five megabases of the human genome. Three megabases of the human genome is made up from indels, and for the larger size of structural variants, they make up 10 megabases of the genome. To detect the smaller variants like SNVs and indels, high accuracy is needed and therefore have traditionally been detected using short reach sequencing. For larger structural variants where read length is key, long reach sequencing has been applied. With HiFi reads, you no longer need to choose between read accuracy and read length. You can now get highly accurate long reads that can discover all variant types ranging from single nucleotide variants to large structural variants. To generate highly accurate HiFi reads, every molecule will be sequenced at higher coverage. The sequencing polymerase has strand displacing capability and will open the smart bell into a circle, allowing for the sequencing of both the forward and the reverse strands. The sequencing reaction continues until the sequencing run has completed. The sequencing errors are randomly distributed and will be washed out by increasing the number of passes around the smart bell. The consensus accuracy for a HiFi read with 10 passes is 99.9%. Because the reads are so accurate, they can be applied to standard bioinformatics pipelines commonly used for short read sequencing analyses. The first step is to align the HiFi reads to the reference genome and call variants with tools like GATK or Deep Variant. These tools produce a VCF file that contains sequencing data that can be phased and visualized using tools like WhatsApp and IGV. The Precision FDA Truth Challenge compared the different sequencing technology platforms based on their sequencing accuracy. PacBio HiFi reads outperformed all other methods, showing the lowest number of errors. The high accuracy of HiFi sequencing allows for comprehensive variant detection. At 15-fold coverage, HiFi data has both high precision and recall across different variant types. Not only can HiFi reads capture all variants, but they can also detect variants that are often missed with short reads. Due to short read lengths, short reads usually miss over 50% of the structural variants, particularly long insertions and variants in repetitive regions of the genome. Here is an example of a structural variant. On the top, you see the PacBio HiFi reads. On the bottom, short reads for the same sample. HiFi reads are long enough to span the entire region and the 1700 base pair deletion can be clearly detected. Whereas the short reads are not mapping well to the region because of an underlying repeat expansion. In addition, HiFi reads enable phasing of the alleles, confirming that this is a homozygous deletion. Even though short reads are commonly used for single nucleotide variants and indel detection, they still miss a portion of them, especially the ones that are located in difficult to map regions of the genome. In a recent publication in Nature Review Genetics by Logston and colleagues, they concluded that short reads missed 47% of the deletions and almost 78% of the insertions. 
This was after applying 11 different variant colors specifically designed to detect these variant types in short read data. Here is an example where single nucleotide variants are missed by short reads. The STRC gene, which is known to cause congenital deafness, can easily be sequenced with the alleles phased using hi-fi reads, shown here in the middle. On top, the Illumina short reads have large gaps, and on the bottom, O and T long reads have many errors. The reason for the difficulty in this region is that this part of the gene, indicated with arrows and dashed lines, have a pseudogene copy that is very similar in base context, causing mapping errors between the pseudogene and the functional copy. Overall, it has been shown that next generation sequencing short reads miss 5% of the medical exome. This might not sound like a big number, but it affects 193 medically relevant genes. With higher precision and recall, Hi-Fi reads are able to resolve most of these regions. You can apply Hi-Fi reads to a range of different types of variant detection studies, like building population-specific reference genomes. As you can see from this map, there have been numerous reference genomes built using smart sequencing across the globe, and more are being sequenced. A high-quality, population-specific genome will help map the full range of variants to give a better understanding of which variants are shared globally and which are population-specific. This information will be very important for diagnostics and treatment development for various diseases. Variant detection is also a very important application that can help researchers identify rare and undiagnosed diseases. Whole exome sequencing and whole genome sequencing with short reads only solve less than 50% of the rare disease cases. Whereas variant detection with HIFI sequencing has proven very successful in solving the previously unsolvable cases, decreasing the decade-long diagnostic odyssey. Variant detection has also been adopted by large consortia studies across the globe. Several large consortia are implementing HIFI sequencing for variant detection in their studies. For example, SolveRD, funded by the European Union, is committed to applying PathBio long reads to 500 human individuals. In the US, there are two large consortia applying HIFI sequencing to their studies. Children's Mercy Kansas City is applying HIFI sequencing to Genomic Answers for Kids project that is planning to sequence 100,000 individuals total. And Discovery Life Sciences at Hudson Institute for Biotechnology has started to apply long resequencing to thousands of human genomes to characterize both the common and the disease-causing variants. Now that you have heard how others have implemented variant detection into their studies, you can explore different sites to see how you could use HiFi for your next research. <laughs>